Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Silver, my Mono Psychic run. And it's time to make our way to Blackthorn City. Thankfully, we can bypass basically all the trainers out here, so we really only have to deal with one trainer this episode. Most of the time is going to be spent on the puzzles, so if you've seen the gold episode, well, there's probably going to be much to see here. I mean, I'm definitely going to try and find a Jinx if I get lucky, you know, and try and catch it. I mean, I don't guarantee I'm going to run into a Jinx because, let's face it, it's not the most common of encounters out there, but if we find one, I'm going to try and put in a Great Ball for later. I mean, it is a Psychic type, so I can use it, and it's an Ice type as well, so it gets stabbed with moves like Ice Punch and whatnot, so it might be a good um, addition to the team for killing dragons later. And if I want to be really weird, I could breed it, I guess, and get a smooch em and throw it against Lance. That'd be fun. Just to have an odd, humiliating defeat in there for the Dragon Master. Though, I'm not sure I'd really want to do that. It'd be a pretty hard um, trick to pull off. Because let's face it, I wouldn't have the stats for it. Then again, I thought about doing it with an unowned before, too, just because, you know? Ugh. Though that would mean finding an unowned with um, an ice-based hidden power, which is probably easier said than done, knowing my luck. But let's start navigating our way through here. And hopefully we won't run into any deli birds, man. Oh, wow, right off the bat. Now I'm gonna wish I'd bought some repels while I was back in um, Mahogany Town. Of course, the question is, can I fight this thing without killing it? I'll try an Ice Punch. Well, I did more damage than I wanted to. Um, let's see. Let's switch over to Hypnotoad. I need to put this thing to sleep. Oh, try to put me asleep. With a lovely kiss. Huh. I might keep that move. Now the hard part, getting it in the ball. That's always the tricky part, man. They rarely want to stay in the balls, in my experience. Yeah. Got free, and it woke up. And it tried putting me to sleep again. I can't seem to get this thing to stay asleep very long, can I? Well, let's try a Luna. A Luna does have um, confusion, which is a much weaker psychic attack, so we might be able to use it against it without knocking it out. Who? Right on the edge. But we like being on the edge. That tiny sliver means it's easier to capture, after all. Now I'll switch back over to Hypnotoad. I'm partially fond of the idea of switching over to the eggs, but let's face it, um, seeds probably ain't gonna last very long if it drops the, um, ice attacks, let's face it. Oh, great, I got frozen solid. Um, do I have a full heal on hand? <sighs> I wasn't expecting that one. And then trying to get me for the paralysis, and it worked! Gosh darn it. You know what? I don't care. At this point, I can't be put to sleep, and I can't be frozen again. So it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. I just have to keep throwing out hypnosis until it works, and then throw out that great ball. Ugh. Wow. Fully paralyzed three times in a row. One time... Four, sixteen... Sixty-four? Ah, jeez. Pretty uncommon. Okay, let's pull out that ball now. You're getting in the ball, Jinx. I'm getting caught. Okay. I don't know what to call it, though. Huh. Well. Huh. I don't know. Um... Hex? Yeah, I know, I can't think of anything clever. Guess I could have left it as Jinx instead of the Jinx from Teen Titan, but... You know, that would require me not to change its name at all. 
which would be boring. I mean, sure, the nickname's not much better, but hey. I can make a reference to Scooby-Doo that way. Hex Girls, you know? They appeared in a couple of the movies, didn't they? Well, time to get ourselves another item. One that we must capture. After all, we need this HM for later. Now the tedious part. <sighs> the rock puzzles. Boulder puzzles. They never get old, do they? Yeah, I know. They're very old. And bothersome. Shoot. <sighs> Had to get caught, didn't I? <sighs> okay, let's... Let's just skip over the swine up. Okay, first one going in is this one. But I should probably push this one up into position. Okay. And... Mostly got it at this point. I think I'll get off my bike. Just to make this final bit of maneuvering a bit easier. I really don't want to blow it. Okay, there's only one more rock we really need to push through at this point. I'll skip over the rest on the grounds that they're not necessary. At least if you just want to get through the cave. If you want to get all the items, yeah, but you know what? The rest of those items really ain't too worth it in my opinion. Shoot, I went through the wrong one. I need to hit the bottom one. Can't believe I made that mistake twice. Well, at least I only got hit by one random encounter for my trouble, apparently. <sighs> and it's the pig again. <sighs> okay, down the hole, then up. Definitely gonna take that. It makes up for the one I had to use up earlier because I got iced. <sighs> that jinx was so ice cold, man. And we're definitely gonna want this. After all, it improves the power of our ice attacks, which means it's a good fit for jinx. Um, let's see. Darn it, I messed this up. Well, it's just TM44, so whatever. Um, if I remember correctly, TM44 is rest, so. Not exactly a move I'm particularly partial to in the first place. So we're not going to worry about skipping over it. And if I'm wrong, maybe I'll come back for it some other point. But I don't feel like delaying um, the episode at this point, because I lost quite a bit of time to catching that jinx. More than I intended, at least. Who would have thought it'd be so slippery? But... We at least finally arrived in Blackthorn City. And next time we'll begin the process of slaughtering Claire's Pokemon. Because let's face it, there's no way she can stop us. Not with the power of ice on our hands. <laughs> Till next time then. See ya.